This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! I'm gay. I think the best part of Case 2 is all of the weird voices we can give to the police guards. <laughs> oh, that's just the best part of these games. Hey guys, With welcome Miles back Edgeworth. to more Miles Edgeworth Face Attorney Investigations 2. We're still in the middle of the imprison turnabout today. Last time, we met Sahad Dogen. Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the guy assassin. with the Buddha statues that he crafts. With the, yeah, he crafts. Even though I wanted to be like, Sahad Dogen, but like, I can't do the voice that I picture in my head. Anyhow, we're in the hallway. Now then, we still need to find that murder weapon. Mr. Edgeworth! She went all the way up there. It's fine now, Kay. Come down from there, because the dog chased her yeah. off. Where is Mr. Shields? Beats me. He just took off running like death was after him. Good grief. That man. What should we do now, Mr. Edgeworth? We'll continue investigating. First, we should start by solving that one mystery. Knightley's body was found in a workroom inside the prison. However, he was supposed to be in the detention center's holding cell. How did he get to the prison under such tight security? See, what happens is the horse demands to ride in his wagon to be carried everywhere. Like the little... Oh, the comfort, pony. The little, <laughs> the the little pony. pony. And so then when they were like, oh, we'll just pick up the pony and we'll put the dead body in there. And in the like, pony? No, not in the pony. In the wagon with the pony. Oh, that's... Oh, by the way, I should ask. Do you have any suspects? Like, or you're... Oh, I bet they're the murderer. Oh! Because um, I think we've met almost every I character. think we've met everyone. I mean, it'd be hilarious if it's Frank saw it again. I think that regardless of who did it, regardless of who did it, there has to be someone in cahoots. Because you, you think there's prison. an accomplice? There's an accomplice because... Or do you think it's like they're all in on it? <laughs> it could be. That'd be hilarious. I think Everyone it's gets just... arrested. I think it's more... <laughs> it could be like the Muppets. <laughs> where they all escape at the end of the number. Because they're all in on it. <laughs> oh, working in the, <laughs> the coal mine. mine. <laughs> it could be like that. I think that it has to be someone who like works at the prison. Though. Like maybe the warden. Maybe like one of the prisoners. Like getting a little something something with the warden maybe. And then he was like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's like, oh, baby, can you, like, help me with this Kill thing? this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, like, I suppose. I suppose. I don't know. You don't think it's the guy who it literally also, has an assassin dog. It also could be. It could be. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's getting the check. I don't know. Yeah. Here's, here's, <laughs> how old is he? Yeah, how old is that dude? I don't know. Here's the thing. We don't know. He's Regardless, old. Regardless, <laughs> it could be like a Regina situation where she's like, Oh, I just brought the note. I just put the note up on the wall because I'm an idiot. And then like, I just accidentally put actually, Pepper on his neck brace and then the dog sneezed on it. And that's what Frank saw it. <laughs> right, but it could be something dumb where it's like, Oh, her clumsiness or her like stupidity is like what helps cause this murder to happen. It could be something like that where it's like, oh, the warden was an idiot for two minutes and was like <laughs> having a uh, some fun times with one of the prisoners or like with an office person, and then that's when someone snook snuck through. Snook, okay. snook, snook, snook through. Done did snook through. Let's go investigate the holding cell at the <laughs> detention center at last. That was where Mr. Knightley was held, right? But what about Uncle Ray? Let's just leave him be for now. I thought we were supposed to be his assistants, though. March 28th, 1.34 p.m. We're oh, in the detention who's center Who's up hallway. on the wall? So there's a guy with the most massive mustache. Mustache man, female <laughs> Edgeworth, um, Lana Sky's mom, and, and Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin? <laughs> who's that? Joseph Stalin! You said Stalin. I said Stalin. Okay, well... I did not have any B in there. Okay, I thought there was a B in there. Anyway. Oh, actually, he looks more like a composer, anyhow. Maybe. The victim's cell in the detention center was this way. Let's check it out! Mr. Edgeworth! Why was there, like, an exclamation point and then just... Po possible mistranslation. <laughs> I think this is the warden. Oh, this is truly just dreadful! Hmm? What happened? Oh, you get to voice a weirdo. That's the warden, Miss Roland. She must have come from behind that no entry sign. Uh, do you did you want to voice a guard? Because I know you voiced Ooh. one earlier. So you still won't talk? <laughs> 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 you 
even after all the trouble you went through to get the evidence transferred from the precinct? That's right. I don't know how many times I've tried. I can't report back empty-handed. That assassin sure is one tough cookie, huh? Did he just say assassin? Oh my. Pardon me, but were you talking about Sirhan Dogen just now? Oh, eavesdropping, were you? You naughty boy. Did you question him personally, Warden Roland? Not just him. I try to have a heart-to-heart -heart with all the prisoners and suspects. In my home, we're all family here. It's only fair I invite him to my warden's office. See? I was right! Getting a little something something on the side! <laughs> the warden's office. Ugh, oh, have you taken an interest in my room as well? What's with the music? It does sound like the pot pot- uh, not there. But it did sound a little bit like the pop pot music from the circus case. Okay. It sounds like the area with the guy that has the largest ball of string or whatever. From the other game. That's no. from Pep's birthday That's surprise. From Pep's birthday. I've only same, played that once. Same guy. <laughs> the security guard. Oh, the. He's bah, 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 bah. Yeah, and he's like. I'll pump that music in later. And then he's, and then he's like, <laughs> stop sign out. Ha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Cook on the stop sign. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you have to you give to him the thing. Get it, permission. It's just down this hallway. But outsiders are not allowed past this point. Down the hallway, so around there. Maybe she liked the the the, 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 the nightly. Cause he's a hot guy. Like how how old is Roland? Roland. 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 Okay, look at the organizer. I gotta know. She's thirty seven. She's thirty seven. She can't be that old. She's yeah, thirty seven. Well, maybe she likes younger men, and maybe she's like, ooh, hot bodyguard dude. She's <laughs> like innocently. She's a cougar, him. basically. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. The warden is a cougar. <laughs> it's such a lovely room. People don't. People do so enjoy being invited back there. <laughs> yeah, your fairy's pretty accurate, isn't it? <laughs> I always show them the splendid view of my precious courtyard. Is that what they're calling it these days? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> the courtyard of the animal, the animal-filled prison. I'd sure love to see it. Floor plans updated. I'm delighted that you wanted to see it. However, I can't invite you. What? You're not a child of our home. If you want to come to my room, you'd have to be convicted first. That's a rather high hurdle to clear. Goodness me, look at how long we've been talking. <laughs> about the pot pot music. <laughs> I was just about to feed Allie her lunch. Allie? She's my favorite little angel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off to the courtyard. Toodaloo! There's that guard, I gotta remember his voice. I never got a chance to ask her about Dogen. Well, let's head over to Nightly's cell. March 28th, 1.43pm, Detention oh, wow. Center. Holding cell. This is the victim's cell. This is where all the people who are in the detention center end up, basically. <laughs> We're finally getting to see it. That's not too bad. When did Mr. Knightley arrive in here again? It was after the president's welcoming ceremony, on the night of March 25th. So when and how did he move over to the prison? There might be some evidence left that can answer that. Alright, let's get cracking, Mr. Edgeworth. Begin investigation, detention center holding cell. Talk to the man. You can be that one. Good work. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, you don't have to keep an eye on us, okay? As you can see, we are the great thieves of justice. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like a goose there. <laughs> there is no we here. <laughs> Why do we give them the weirdest voices? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We do need some weird voices. <laughs> hmm? The reflection in the mirror. Ah, it's a security camera. A great thief's arch enemy. I guess they don't take too kindly to thieves here. There's no reason for a detention center to be kind to thieves. Guard! <laughs> I would like you to check the footage of this security camera. If you find any problems, report to me at once. Understood, sir. 
is the funniest, stupidest thing. <laughs> I don't, the funny thing is, the, the, the running gag of making the guards or the forensics guys have weird voices started in Ghost Trick. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> Which will stop first? <laughs> My dancing or the turning of the planet? <laughs> Before that, it was like the two police officers, the lights, because there was one guy who was just, yeah. I don't know, and then the other guy with the larger chin and nose, I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what started it all. <laughs> it's not as dirty as I thought it would be. It's a toilet. And the toilet paper shows no signs of use. There is none. Looks like there are no problems with the toilet. The toilet. <laughs> That's for UNCS. <laughs> uh, there's a huge problem. With the toilet? What's the problem with the toilet? It's totally awkward having a toilet out in the open like that. They need to think more about the end user. This facility wasn't designed with the spirit of service in mind. At least there's like a slight wall so you can't just be like... <laughs> hey, Nightly! <laughs> Go to the bathroom, huh? That's cool. That's cool. I mean, you don't mind little, if I watch. It's a little easier for guys than for girls, I think. I mean, I prefer sitting. Sure, but there are guys, at least if you want to, you can keep yes. your pants on. Yes, Like, Absolutely. girls cannot. I won't rest until I've inspected every nook and cranny. They have a sushi menu? No, that's not it. Mr. Edgeworth, is this a dining menu? You can choose your daily meals in this detention center. However, unless you have the money, you won't be able to choose what you want to eat. In the end, the world revolves around money. Doesn't this mean that the rich won't have to reflect on their crimes? Yes. Well, those who come here haven't been declared guilty yet. Whew. There are a few good people who don't need to reflect. Probably. Sounds like you're just making excuses for them, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh. Why should I have to come up with excuses for the detention center? Look at all those books. There are lots of books here. What's this? The Wonderful Warden of Ours. The Hound Whistler. Animal Shack Redemption? Mr. Knightley, he was a surprisingly good person. No, the detention center provides these books for the visitor's own edification. For the warden? These books are supposed to help you grow as a human being. Hmm? Prison Life for Dummies. These books were written by model prisoners and former inmates. Ah, oh, here's a helpful book. The Great Escape in 80 Days, based on a true story. Oh, check this one out. Crime and Establishment. How to make money in prison. The problems with this detention center may run deeper than I thought. <laughs> They're very money-centered. I don't what is I that? don't like for-profit prisons. Ah, oh, there's something on the desk. It seems to be some kind of memo. Let me take a closer look. Oh look! It's the exact same chessboard that he was using with the other dude. This is chess notation. It was probably the victim's. What's a chess notation? It's a memo that records the positions of the pieces on a chessboard. This is a good match. My next move would be pawn to... No. Actually, before that... Mr. Edgeworth, this is no time to be playing chess! Ah, you're right. Hmm? The positions of the chess pieces recorded in this memo. I feel like I've seen something similar somewhere else. I should take a closer look at the evidence I've collected. Oh yeah, you can deduce this, no problem. Yep, you caught it immediately. I mean, how many people play chess in prison? Right. <laughs> this chess notation, I've seen it before. You're still thinking about chess? Focus on the investigation! Focus! Chess is quite important to this investigation. I played mental chess with multiple people now. Okay, have a look at this. Are these the chess pieces from Dogen's cell? I don't know much about the rules of chess. The rules of chess are not important here. Look at the positions of the chess pieces in this memo and the pieces in Dogen's cell. Do you notice anything? Ah! I don't know anything about the different chess pieces. But if you flip the board around, the positions of the chess pieces are completely the same. Yes. Although the memo doesn't include the Cerberus chess piece, the positions of the other chess pieces are identical. What's going on here? I always play correspondence chess. 
This might be hard to believe, but Dogen's chess opponent was... Ugh! Are you saying he was playing against Mr. Knightley? With this, we now have the evidence to link Dogen with the victim. Knightley's memo jotted down in the organizer. Oh, what was he sleeping on? I thought those were pants. I won't rest until I've inspected the pants. Oh wait, that's Not a jacket. Pants. That's a jacket. It's Horace Knightley's suit. According to the re results of my investigation... Hmm? What did you find out? A man who looks good in a suit leaves a more favorable impression with the ladies. Very true. Uh, next time I'll investigate men who look good in frills. Please don't bother. Yeah, Edward, you look good in what you wear. <clears> hmm? <throat> this newspaper, it's missing a few pages. They appear to be torn out. Oh, it's like a Jumbo Jukiba when he was in jail. Idiot scientist jail. <laughs> what? <laughs> From Lee and Stitch. Oh, I haven't seen that in forever. That was one of the funniest parts of the movie. Really? Why would someone tear out the pages from a newspaper? Maybe they used it to clean the cell instead of a rag. Maybe they made paper airplanes. Clean the cell? It's quite possible. The instructions! <laughs> oh. Something seems off. The floor here's clean. Was it mopped recently? It seems strange that only the area in front of the bed has been wiped clean. He's like, wait, I had a little bit of blood, but it's fine. He this... just had a bloody nose, and it, like, <laughs> catastrophically went everywhere. That's like one of the bloody noses I would get. Yeah. This looks like an uncomfortable bed to sleep in. But the pillow covers are clean. Not a speck of dust on them. Is this what, a, what the bed at Gummy's place looks like as well? No. If my hunch is correct, he has an old beat-up mattress lying around in his room. Poor Gumshoe. He need he needs He needs a good friend. He needs that a That guard's been gone so long. Also, is that the shower? Or is that water? Um, that's like a tap. So I think it could double as a shower, but also where you brush your teeth. Oh. You guys don't mind me just bathing by the corner. <laughs> 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 Windows of iron bars. There are no signs of tampering. It doesn't look like the criminal could have escaped through here. Mm-hmm. What if these iron bars are removable? Let me inspect them for future reference. Okay, now it's not the time for that. We're in the middle of an investigation. Oh wait, hang on, before we logic it up. I think we can logic that up. Yeah, but we want to talk to Kay. Yeah, what's up? There are so many things in this cell. Yes, although they don't all appear to be Knightley's personal belongings. There's also a collection of books that belong to this cell. Wow, this may not be such a bad place to live in after all. If you want to spend the night here, I won't stop you. Thanks, but no thanks. But since we're here, we might as well learn everything we can. All right, let's begin our investigation of the holding cell. We already finished it. Just seems to be popular here. Knightley even brought in a chess set. No. From what I've seen, the only people who have an interest in chess are Knightley and that man. That man? Ah, you mean that scary guy. Indeed. Those two had a shared interest in chess. Is that just a coincidence? We already proved it wasn't. Come on. I believe that even a great thief has rights. For example, we have the right to choose what we want to steal. I guess she doesn't consider this valuable. Fine. We'll deduce now. Use we'll, we will deduce now. Yeah, I not say deduce. <laughs> you said deduce. I like deduce. I am Zeus. <laughs> oh, I grow weary of this. The floor is clean. It was probably wiped down with something. Did someone spill grape juice in here? I don't know exactly what was wiped away but I can imagine what was used to wipe it. It's very likely that it was this torn up newspaper. Couldn't he have asked one of the guards if he could borrow a cleaning rag? Perhaps it was something he didn't want the guards to see. Wiped floor data jotted down in the organizer. Please tell me the guards coming back. So this is what our investigation turned up. It seems we found a major connection between the victim and Dogen. Uh, this is terrible! Hmm? What happened? 
Oh, it's the guard. The security camera recorded something terrible. Didn't you just sound like a goose two seconds ago? What? Can you let me see it? Oh, a goose? Of course, sir. No, no, <laughs> no. no, no, no. Of see, course, I sir. I have a portable playback device right here. <laughs> <laughs> then let me see it right away. Oh, it's like the DS. Butcha! Wait, is he fighting a Pokemon? He's fighting a Pokemon. Th this is... The black thing's gotta be that doggy, right? Oh, maybe not. Up until this point, I thought the murder took place inside the prison. But it appears I was mistaken. The place where Knightley was attacked was... It was in the warden's office, no. <laughs> it, was, it was a hot time in the warden's <laughs> office with that dog. <laughs> yes, Knightley was attacked here. <laughs> really? He was attacked there? But the video showed that... Yes, well, I suppose it wasn't there. It was the detention center. Why was it necessary to point it out? We literally just saw a video of it happening here. And furthermore, he was attacked by Dogen's dog. This is the decisive evidence. Security footage data jotted Maybe down. Maybe the warden loves the dog. And so the dog goes through the warden's office. She's like, oh, you lovely thing. You little fluffy dog pooch. Mm. And then he walks through. And then kills the guy. And then kills the guy. And then, like, I don't know. The warden seems pretty chill. If Knightley was killed in this room, then this piece of evidence we found in the cell takes on a new meaning. Which piece of evidence takes on a new meaning if the murder occurred in the holding cell? Uh, the, the chess? Oh, right, because they, they made the hound piece. Yes, the meaning of this evidence. Mr. Edgeward, why have you gone quiet all of a sudden? Um, but that makes perfect sense. It's nothing. I'm overthinking this. This just seems too simple. That's why I'm like, hmm. For some reason, someone wiped the floor clean. It's possible they were wiping away bloodstains. Get some luminol. Thank you for your hard work. While I have your attention, may I ask for one more favor? What would that be? Would you please stop holding your nose when you talk? <laughs> you sound like a goose. There should be a detective by the name of Dick Gumshoe in the detention center or the prison. I would like you to give him a message. Tell him to check this room for traces of blood and give the results to me. Y yes, sir. Wiped floor data updated in the organizer. We need to hire more normal guards. <laughs> <laughs> that should corner the old coop. No, not yet. We still don't know how Knightley and the dog moved from here to the prison. That's true, but once we figure that out, where should we check out next, Mr. Edgeworth? The guards here might know something about the murder. Let's see if we can learn any new details from them. Will we find the one normal dog? Ooh, there's a bunch of guards! March 28th, 2.15 p.m. Detention Center With Hallway. in prison, or whatever. All right, let's continue our... Ah! Hey, it's Lang Z, I think. Shimon Lane. Oh, sorry to intrude. This is your... That's your guard, but I guess oh, he doesn't that's my talk. Guard? But that doesn't... He doesn't talk, apparently. Oh. He's back. Well, if it isn't Mr. Prosecutor and the little lady. Fancy meeting you here. This man is Shilon Lane, an Interpol agent. About two weeks ago, he was in charge of investigating one of my cases. He was an enormously colossal butt, but <laughs> we, we became friends after that. I would have thought he'd return to his native country of Zane Fa by now. And miss the president, <laughs> come on. Agent Lane, what brings you here? Just some boring work, nothing you need to know about. Ah, on top of a black dog, we meet a black wolf. Huh? You came alone today, Agent Lang. Usually, he'd have a huge police force with him. Mr. Prosecutor, seems you've been busy these past few days. These past few days? Is he referring to the incident with the Zainfa president? I would have thought you'd be involved in his security too. Ha! <laughs> Our president doesn't even trust his own country's police force. Look at the results of hiring a private security company. It's laughable. Agent Lane doesn't trust prosecutors or the courts. That's why. 
He brings along a large force of capable policemen to thoroughly investigate the crime scene. Yes, if you and the, your subordinates had been there, the results might have been different. My subordinates, huh? They're no longer with me. They're not with you? Funny! Looks like I'm a real lone wolf now. <laughs> Agent Lane, just what happened exactly? Didn't I tell you? It's nothing you need to know about. That's well, funny. be seeing you, Mr. Prosecutor. Have fun. Mr. Lane, I wonder what happened. Yes, it troubles me too, but there's nothing we can do about it for now. Okay, let us continue with our own investigation. Got it. First, let's ask those guards a few questions. We gotta... Oh. Let's leave. <laughs> no. Oh, what's the door? This door leads to the surveillance room. Surveillance? Does this mean we're being watched? You'll have to tone down your sh shenanigans, Mr. Edgeworth. Wh what are you trying to accuse me of? Oh, I can't examine the sign, eat free, live free in prison. <laughs> yeah, we sure can't. I'm sad. Uh, I'm gonna say this is the same guard as the one... This is a difficult case. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Is something troubling you? S sir one of my uniforms has gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm certain that I placed it in this locker. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part of the case. Why are we doing this? This is amazing. Maybe the uniform grew legs and walked off somewhere. What kind of logic is that? In any case, I wish you the best of luck in your search. I'll be rooting for you. Yes, thank you for your support. <laughs> Stolen uniform data jotted down in the organizer. Cool. Be seeing you, bro. You there? Have you seen a black dog around here? Of course not. If I had actually seen it, I wouldn't be standing around here so carefully. Um, did something happen with your voice? <laughs> did you have some vocal trauma in those vocal cords? Did something happen with the dog? Okay, let's not press this matter any further. I can't stand his voice. Hmm, so Dogen's dog didn't come by the detention center. I, like, already have forgotten the voice that- Oh, we didn't get to ask the other guy! Oh, there you are! Oh wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought that was Sebastian. How was my impression? <laughs> Pretty good. Mr. Huh? Shields, why the heck did you change your voice all of a sudden? Where did you go? <laughs> Where indeed? I've been searching for you guys this whole time. Walking all around the prison is hard work, you know. That's strange, seeing as you came from the opposite direction. I've got some new information. You want to hear it? Do you? He sure changed the subject quickly. I heard a little something from the guards. They all have really weird voices. It's so odd. They all sound like... <laughs> it seems like Matley caused a bit of an incident two days ago. Did he release an the dogs? An incident? You know how Simon said he came to visit Natley, right? After the visit when Natley returned to his cell. Naturally, a guard escorted Natley back to his cell. While the guard was unlocking his handcuffs... All of a sudden, Natley struck the guard and knocked him out. Seems he was going to attempt a jailbreak. By the time the other guards arrived, the key to his cell had disappeared. But there's been no reports of Knightley's jailbreak attempt two days ago. Exactly. It's strange, isn't it? Right up until his death, he was still in his cell. What's more, Knightley claimed he never stole the key in the first place. In fact, they searched his cell, and the key was nowhere to be found. Did the guard who was struck have anything to say? No one knows. He was taken to the hospital while he was on, still unconscious. He's still there now, it seems. Hmm. So in the end, we still don't know what happened. Maybe we'll meet the guard, and then he'll be like, Mmm, it was so bad! Might we sell data added. Oh, here we go! It's you! Hmm? That voice. 